So I created my first NFT. So you're probably wondering what is an NFT. So I appreciate if you can like this video and subscribe to my channel as this will help with YouTube's algorithm for this video and this channel. So let's Google what is NFT. So according to Wikipedia, an NFT is a non-punchable token which is a vision of data stored on a digital ledger called a blockchain that certifies a digital asset to be unique and therefore not interchangeable. NFTs can be used to represent items such as photos, videos, audios and other types of digital assets. So basically a non-punchable token means that it is a non-interchangeable token. If it's on a blockchain, it is a non-punchable token. And if it is not on, on a blockchain, it is a fungible token. Anyway, I joined the NFT revolution and created my first NFT. So I'll put a link in the description below. You can follow me on my NFT journey. So there are a few NFT marketplaces such as OpenSea, Variable, Mintable, and other NFT marketplaces. So I decided to go with OpenSea. So we want to create our account. So as you see here, there's the avatar icon and then there's a wallet icon. So when you click the wallet here, it will promise to connect to a wallet in order to sign in. So you see here, there's Metamask, Bitsky, Pomatic, Wallet Connect, and other wallets. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos and reviews. I noticed a lot of people use Metamask, but for me, I'm going to use Coinbase Wallet. So we're going to connect with our Coinbase Wallet. Okay, so with Coinbase, you can install a Chrome extension here, or you can connect to Coinbase through the QR code here. So after you scan, you'll be prompted to sign in through Coinbase on your mobile or Coinbase Wallet on your phone. So I scanned the QR code, and it prompted me to sign in through OpenSea on my Coinbase wallet. So you see here it is connected to my Coinbase wallet. I'm going to go to my profile and collections. Okay, so I've already created my first two NFTs. So we're going to create another NFT for demonstration purpose. So here you can upload your NFT, which is a picture or video or audio file. And it cannot be very big because the max size is 40 megabytes. And then you can name your NFT. So if it's a video, you have to put in a picture as the cover file and then you can go ahead and add in an external link so that users can click to learn more about your NFT and then there's a description here and collection page and properties and levels that and unlockable content and if it is a sensitive content okay let's do a test demo here we're going to upload a picture okay so you can key in all the relevant information here but let's say if I want to upload a video so you see here you prompt you to upload a preview image and if you want to upload a steel cover you can put in a PNG or JPEG but if you want a moving cover image you can upload a GIF so go ahead and key in all your or other relevant information okay let's change this back to an image and then we're going to name it test okay i don't have an external link and a description we're also going to put it test and the collection okay so you see here i have my crypto punks fans and my own personal collection here and you can add in properties so for example if it's a character put it as a male or female so this i'll put in font and impact okay save and then you can go ahead and add in if there are levels to your nft and stats Okay, so when you upload your NFT, you can choose which blockchain to upload on. So that's Ethereum and Polygon. So Polygon is a fast, gas-free blockchain experience that works with Ethereum. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Ethereum and then click Create. Okay, so we just created our NFT. So okay, so this is the home page of your NFT item. So that's the price history, listing, and offers. So currently there are no offers yet. And here it shows the transactions if it has been transferred and sold. Okay, so by default it is just like a normal NFT for viewing. So you want to go ahead and sell your NFT. So you're gonna click sell. Okay, and then here in the sell page, you can choose to set your price or do it as an auction or put it as a bundle in a group. Okay, so you can set your amount for NFT as an Ethereum, DAI or USDC. And you can include the ending price. Which is setting an ending price to allow your listing to expire or for the price to be reduced until the buyer is found. And then you can also schedule for a future time. You can schedule this listing to only be viable at a future date. And you can also set its privacy. Whereby you can keep your listing public or you can specify one address that allows to buy it. Okay, so when you sell, of course, there are fees, right? Listing is free because I've already uploaded a few listings before. So my first listing I uploaded, I was charged 48 US dollars, which is about 0.01 Ethereum. And then every subsequent NFT listing uploaded after that, there's no fee. But when you sell, there'll be a fee here. So to OpenSea, it is 2.5%. 
And then there's also the referral fee, which was set earlier, range from 0 to 10%. So I'm going to add in my Ethereum amount. So you can set 1 Ethereum, 0 0.1 or 0 0.01 Ethereum. But bear in mind the fees when you sell at that time, because OpenSea has a 2.5% fee. And also there's a gas fee, which will either be paid by you or the buyer. Okay, so you can set an expiration date in 3 days, 1 week, 1 time or a specific date. And then if you want it to be private or not. And then if we go for bidding, here the minimum bid we put here for example 0.01 and the reserve amount which is the hidden limit by setting a reserve price. So they don't receive any bid equal to or greater than our reserve, the auction will end without sale. So they require a minimum reserve price of 1, if you don't equivalent value of your selected token. And then we go here to bundle. Okay, you can bundle with other NFTs and we can include the ending price, price, schedule for future price and privacy like how we do a normal sell. Okay, so for tax purpose, we're just going to put 0.01 Ethereum, $32, and then we're going to post our listing. So after you post your listing, OpenSea will prompt through your Coinbase wallet to sign in to authorize this upload. Okay, so you see here I can confirm on my phone. Okay, so now the item is listed for sale. So it is active in the marketplace now at 0.01 Ethereum. So you see here, it was minted 15 minutes ago and then it is listed about a minute ago. Okay, so we can go ahead and cancel the listing or lower the price. So I'll put a link in the description below. You can follow me on my NFT journey and the NFT that I uploaded so far. So if you found today's video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can like this video and subscribe to my channel as this will help with YouTube's algorithm for this video and this channel.